Noah was going into kindergarten, he was five. And his teachers saying that he was tired a lot, but I was like, he's starting kindergarten, he got sick. Kindergarten kids get sick. I made him a doctor's appointment and we went to the doctor. A week later, the doctor came back and he kept telling me that they seen abnormal cells inside his abnormal cells. And so I brought him into the room. He was all IV'd up and laying in the bed, eating the bullet m ms <laughs> I'll never forget this day. And the doctor comes in there and he's telling me about platelets and a normal person has 150,000 platelets. And he was like, well, when we checked Noah's blood this morning at the hospital in Concord, his platelets were 13,000. And I was like, oh, that's bad. <laughs> He said when he came to Charlotte and we checked him again, his platelets went to 6,000. And not expecting, he said, this typically means leukemia. And then, like, it just smacked me. And my whole world just, like, flipped upside down. And I looked at Noah and he was like, don't cry, Mommy, it's going to be okay. And then that just made me cry more. <laughs> because he didn't know what leukemia meant. Never in your wildest dreams do you expect to hear that your kid has cancer. When you think about cancer, you think about like the little kids that you've seen on TV and they don't survive. I didn't even think about anything else, like paying my bills, <laughs> like any of the stuff that I was about to endure. I was like, oh, well, this is gonna be over and done. We're gonna be out of here <laughs> in a week. But little did I know, Noah also didn't just have leukemia. I ended up having to quit my job and take care of him, which million thoughts in my head. I have to quit my job, but I have four kids to support on my own and no help. I didn't know how I was gonna survive, but by the grace of God, I said, I'm gonna lay my burdens down to him, and, and Noah was right, we were gonna be okay. The Novant Health Foundation, they helped me pay my bills, helped us stay in our home, supplied us with food, gas, took care of my car, and they made sure that we got, we were able to get to the hospital and get treatment. Just anything that I needed, they were there. I would call the Novant Health Foundation my family, absolutely. My and today I he's awesome, like a normal little nine-year-old boy. He loves to play, he likes to be on watching YouTube, he loves his Switch, he likes to fight with his brothers and especially his sister. I would say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Nova Health Foundation for taking all the worry away from me, for letting me be at ease during the treatment of my son, even though it was the most difficult thing in my life. I can't thank them enough. There's like no words to express how grateful I really am.